So do you believe in diversification? Is that why you hold? You, you've got to manage risk and diversification is a crucial bit of risk management. Is it a challenge managing so many stocks? It, that's interesting. I, I have quite a... I got this big thing about cutting out noise. And that is, you know, you're talking about what can you improve on. That's something that I have been focusing on a lot more recently is trying to cut out noise. There is so much irrelevant twaddle that comes out on CNBC, on Bloomberg, in the financial press. There's so much noise and it doesn't drive the share price. So I think a lot of times, you know, just sticking to primary sources, sticking to what the company writes in its RNS statements. Um, you know, sticking on what remat, look at looking at the charts and trying to use very simple chart indicators. People overcomplicate technical analysis and charting. You know, they use all these things like Elliott Waves and all these like complicated, amazing things. It just makes it too hard. Stick to the simple stuff. Stick to you know MACDs and RSIs and your candlestick patterns, which are just simple, basic stuff. Is buying into IPOs a good idea? Yeah, do you know, as far as thinking about it, this morning, I, actually, I think it's a very good idea. But a lot, you know, there's there's that thing, don't buy IPOs. Uh, you know, it's just usual nonsense. I think um, you've got to be careful, as with anything, you've got to be really careful. But interesting, we're in a situation in the, with the market at the moment where, you know, you could argue a lot of stuff is getting pretty fully valued. You know, you, it's hard to say these markets are cheap. You might be able to find the odd share that's cheap, but overall markets are looking quite expensive, really. There's a lot of stocks on like forward PEs, high 20s and in their 30s. I mean, that's an expensive market. I don't, you know, since the dot-com days, we haven't seen anything like that. So, so you can argue that a lot of stocks are getting expensive. So if stocks are getting expensive, what can you buy? Well, the answer is the IPOs. If you get the good IPOs, you can do really well on them. So, you know, like SafeStar that we talked about earlier was originally an IPO and I did really well on it. So there's loads like that. Boo was an IPO. So, you know, most things are an IPO at some point. Do you think money can be made if you trade every day of every week of every year? Um, yeah, I think it can for some people, but I think it's, I think, I think for most people, it's very difficult to be a day trader to be a very short-term trader, I think it's very difficult to do. You know, people who use Forex and things like that. You know, we hear about the winners in Forex. We don't hear about the countless gazillions of losers. Um, you know, I think there's a, there's a lot of this survivor bias stuff going on. Um, it, it's hard. It's very hard, I think.